So in my uh, latest video, I uh, mentioned that I just uh, got a new lens, which is uh, this one here. And uh, in the video, I mentioned that the, uh, the shutter speed seemed a little on the slow side, which uh, I think they are. So I wanted to uh, try and measure them in some way. Now I was using an app that uh, recorded the sound of the shutter, but I didn't feel that confident in the results that I was getting from that. So I wanted to uh, try and build something that was a, a little bit more advanced. So the solution I came up with uh, uses a microcontroller and a, a light sensor so that we can uh, record a light source shining through the lens when the shutter opens and closes. So that's what uh, I'm going to talk about in this video. So the equipment you're going to need for this project is uh, a breadboard, a Raspberry Pi Pico, some jumper wires and uh, you'll also need a photo resistor and some uh, extra cable to wire it in. Now these uh, Raspberry Pi Picos are they're really cheap, you can get them for about £5. So uh, this uh, project shouldn't cost uh, a lot of money at all to put together. So this is the unit assembled on the breadboard. Uh, now obviously I am using a, a little OLED display here, but that is completely optional. You can, uh, you can get the data uh, from the terminal in Thonny. So I've just added that. I happen to have one uh, knocking around in the box. Um, in fact, it was already attached to this breadboard for another project. So uh, I just added some code to uh, output the data onto the uh, screen. This is the MicroPython code. Uh, it's not a particularly long piece of code, as you can see. And uh, let's just step through what it's doing. So at the top, it's importing the required modules. So the first thing it does is define the pin that the photoresistor is connected to. And then again, optionally with the OLED here, it's just initializing the OLED display so that we can write some data to it later. And then the main, the main part of the code here is the uh, function that uh, actually measures the light. Once that uh, value goes above 5000, which is when uh, the photoresistor gets a light input, uh, it starts measuring the duration and it waits until the uh, photoresistor value drops below 5000. And at that point, it writes the, uh, the value into the variable duration. Uh, next, we've got uh, a function to output the value to the little OLED screen that we've got uh, attached to the microcontroller. So on here, I've um, just put a, some criteria here that I only want the value to be output if it's greater than 15 milliseconds. And then the main loop cycles over the measure light duration function and uh, waits for a value to be uh, gathered and then writes it out to the OLED screen. And it also writes it to the, uh, the shell uh, in the terminal there. So that's why you don't actually need the OLED screen. It works surprisingly well. It's not, um, it's not scientifically accurate, that's for sure. But for the purposes of measuring uh, shutter speeds on my old lenses, uh, it, it does work surprisingly well. So to demonstrate this, I've got the, the camera here with the back removed. So we're going to be taking a reading close to the rear lens element there. And I've got the lens attached to the camera because it gives us a reasonably dark box uh, so that the, uh, the sensor will work better. That keeps the uh, extraneous light away from the photoresistor. So at the front of the camera, I'm just going to be using this um, LED light, which I will just sort of balance there. And then when we're ready to take the measurements, I will turn that on. Okay, right, so let's just turn this uh, LED light on. I'll just put that up against the lens element. Now the uh, shutter speed we're going to use here is one second. So I'll just uh, prime the shutter there. And 
we'll just start the program in Thonny. So that is now running. You can see it um, making all of these readings, and that's because the photo resistor is just sitting on the desk here. So I'm just going to uh, put this camera down on the on the desk. Just move that over a little bit more. Right. So basically, all we do here now is uh, position the photo resistor. And uh, I've got a reading on the display here of 1056 milliseconds, which is pretty good. And if I just move this to half a second and repeat the process, I'm getting 507 milliseconds. So this lens is actually pretty, pretty accurate. And again, quarter of a second, 275 milliseconds. So I'll just show it again here. If I can get that, uh, trying to do this with one hand, it's not, uh, it's not that easy. Let's see if I can do it like that. So, so there you go, you can just about see that there. 266 milliseconds. So basically with this, I can uh, go through all the uh, the shutter speeds on the the camera and uh, just make a note of the uh, the readings now just to show that uh, this is perfectly usable without that little OLED screen I'll just uh, repeat so there you can see uh, you get the readings on the on the terminal so it's perfectly usable without one of these little OLED screens so yeah, a fun little project to, uh, to have a go at and a quite useful little tool as well. If you've got uh, an old mechanical camera, you're not sure about the shutter speeds, uh, something like this can be put together for next to no money and it will uh, give you an idea um, at least as to uh, what your shutter speeds are doing. Now, if you're testing this on a an SLR obviously it's, it's only going to work um, when the shutter is fully open and fully closed. Any um, shutter, shutter speed that's got uh, a partial opening of the curtain moving across the frame it's not going to work but uh, as I say this this thing is only really uh, usable up to about the 30th or 60th of a second. So uh, depending on the camera that you're testing, we'll uh, determine whether this is going to work, work for you. But yeah, I hope you um, found it useful. I'll uh, put the uh, code in the video description. So if you've got uh, a Raspberry Pi Pico knocking around or if, you, if you're interested enough in trying this that you're going to get one, obviously you can just uh, install Thonny and use that code and um, have a go at testing your your shutter speeds. Well thanks for watching, hope you found the video useful, if you did uh, give it a like and if you've got any questions about this or if you've got any uh, thoughts on how I might be able to improve this system then please uh, leave a comment and I'll, uh, I'll look forward to reading those and responding. If you're new here please uh, consider subscribing and uh, if you hit that uh, bell notification, you'll get uh, notified when I upload new videos. With that, I'll uh, sign off and uh, hope to see you next time.